Hi, I'm Christopher Lehm, founder and director of LARC, Literary Arts for Rural Communities. Thanks for taking the time to find out a little bit more about my organization. Since 2005, I've been delivering empowering programming deeply rooted in the literary arts to rural communities all over Arizona. Our first program that started it all for us is called Young Voices Be Heard. And this is a program where I go into middle school and high schools and I get the kids excited about poetry, about spoken word, about the literary arts. And I do that by assembling powerful performances and workshops. I will also bring in students that I'm currently working with or have worked with in the past to help make a kind of peer-to-peer -peer inspiration for them all. This also shows the students involved that they have this powerful gift of their voice inside of them. Young Voices Be Heard is a program that creates greater cultural awareness, self-esteem, and direct links to a young student's emotional intelligence, making them a more well-rounded human being. Our average grades are only our average because the big picture is more important than math homework. And I am perfectly okay with that. Awkward adjective, see teenager. Our next program is kind of a continuation of our Young Voices Be Heard program, and it's called Virtuoso. I think we all, back in 2008, felt the economic effects of the downturn, and especially the arts. So then I got to thinking. Many schools in underserved rural communities still had access to the internet and DVDs. So everyone, the Virtuoso project is very simple. We bring the arts into your classroom, into your home, and even into your smartphone. If you want to know more about Virtuoso, just contact me. All right. I'll so email we're you we're examples of a few lesson plans that I recorded for other Arizona rural communities to enjoy. All right, so lesson plan number four, very simple. And our third endearing program, the Alzheimer's Poetry Project, created by my mentor, Gary Mex Glazner. The Alzheimer's Poetry Project is by far the most heart-filling experience I have ever had the joy to know. Since 2006, I've gone to countless memory care units all over Arizona, performing classic poetry to connect and spark memories of those stricken with Alzheimer's. This is poetry they memorized when they were in grade school. And since the disease generally affects those younger year memories at later stages, my elders are able to remember many of the lines of those classic poems. He falls. And like a thunderbolt, he The Alzheimer's Poetry Project fills hearts. And this, as well as the previous projects I mentioned, is what I was placed on this earth to do. To reach out to people, good people, that work hard every day to make ends meet in underserved rural communities everywhere. My organization, LARC, Literary Arts for Rural Communities, reaches out to them with the power and grace of words, stories, poems, and even a song or two from sea to shining sea to say, here, take my hand. Let us help your voice so it too can spread its wings. So after viewing this video, I hope that you get a better understanding of the value that my organization LARC brings to rural communities. And as a 501c3 nonprofit organization, we've received over 30 grants and awards to help us bring this to rural communities all over Arizona. But we need your help. We're ready to take this to the next level. Again, thanks for taking the time out of your schedule to discover a little bit more about what I do.
I really look forward to hearing from you.